good morning. Welcome to a cold episode this morning. It's uh, pretty chilly out here this morning. It got down to around 28 degrees last night, and uh, today's supposed to be around 60 for the high. Supposed to be sunny today. Hardly, just a little bit of cloud cover, but uh, hardly no wind today. Supposed to be just real calm day, and that's, you know, you can have a, a day in the 40s and 50s and stuff like that. As long as that sun's out and there's no wind blowing, you can be pretty comfortable out here, even though it's uh, pretty much winter time, you know, but... Um, and you'll still catch a lot of fish too, um, especially like uh, last two days have been just pretty well sunny days, not hardly any clouds in the sky, and uh, I don't know what it does to the water, the fish, or what have you, but if you have two or three days like that of sunny weather, even a third or fourth day you come out here, you'll catch a lot of shallow water bass, even though it's still really cold, you know, the water temperatures right now are in the 40s, kind of low 50s and kind of high 40s, you know, that's pretty cold water. And uh, you'll still catch a lot of shallow fish, even though it's that cold. So we're just gonna get out here today and uh, fish around. It's around 10 o'clock right now, so I didn't want to get out here too early. It was sure enough cold, cold this morning, first thing. So um, just kind of waited till that sun kind of got up, warm things up a little bit. Uh, it's just real pretty morning out here right now, just smooth as glass. Hopefully it'll be this way all day. But come along, see what kind of fish we can put in the kayak today. There we go. There we go. That's like a pretty good one there. He put one of <laughs> That is a good one. Oh man. <laughs> that ain't a bad one there. Good one to start out the trip with. If you ever wonder if a uh, lure works or not, throw a uh, different lure over first. That's what I did. I pulled up here. And there's a log right there, and uh, I was wondering, might be some crappie over there, so I got my uh, Strike King Little Mr. Money first, which is silver, it's got a little blue swim bait on it, and I made four, five, six casts right there, in that same exact spot, and uh, that was the second cast with that golden shiner right there, and bam. <laughs> I prefer that golden shiner over that uh, silver today, or at least this one does anyway. It's a nice bass there to start the day with. Definitely a fun fight. He was pulling a kayak over quick. Back to go, buddy. Not a bad one at all. If this is your first time watching. This is a uh, Golden Shiner Strike King uh, Tour Grade Golden Shiner. It's got a Colorado with a Willow Gold uh, spinners right there on it. And I took a uh, culprit uh, worm. It's a curly tail worm. It's a fire and ice color. And uh, I just cut the head off of it about maybe two inches, inch and a half or so, and maybe a half inch off the tail, and let it hang down like that right there. And I've just had really good luck out of that lure so far. I think this is the third or fourth trip. And uh, like I said, I was kind of, I was wondering if there were going to be any crappie around that log right there, so I threw my other one over there first. And I know crappie kind of prefer that, but I've caught a lot of bass on it too. And uh, anyway, it didn't, get, didn't even get a hit on it. And threw this over. That was the second cast right there, and bam! <laughs> Bass love this lure right here. And that was in about uh, three foot of water, and the water temperature this morning is 47 right now. That's pretty darn cold. One thing I like about this uh, spinner bait right here, especially for cold water fishing in the summertime too, but you know, cold water, you want to slow things down. And uh, this lure right here, you can just slow roll it and it'll stay up higher. You know, you don't have to really bring it in quick to get that lure up there in the shallow water or what have you. It just really does a good job of slowing things down for them fish in the wintertime like it is right now.
the one thing I noticed about this golden shiner setup, um, they do like it tail just a little bit longer like it is right there. I had one, I cut it a little bit too short, and uh, you could tell a the difference. They didn't like it as much. I guess that tail just wasn't back there flashing like it is when it's longer. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one there. He waited last minute to get it too. That was unexpected. <laughs> Man. He definitely waited the last second there. I was just thinking pulled out of the water. Oh. That's a nice one there. One of them surprise bites that you like. Turn the top lip. Oh, there we go. That is a nice one there. I like that the real dark black line down him right there. Pretty bass. Second one so far. On the golden shiner. That's a nice one there. I'm gonna let him go back. There he goes. <laughs> that was an awesome catch there. So unexpected too. I was just thinking to pull it out of the water. He doubled that rod over. Most of the ones that do that, you uh, they always get off because you don't get a good hookup on them. We got lucky on that one. There we go. There we go. Kind of a smaller one. Got him right there on top of that log. <laughs> Small but fun fight. Let me turn around here. Yeah, actually bigger than I thought he was. There we go. As soon as I have a log right there, you see it under the water. As soon as it came over that log, he hit it. I think I drug him over the log. It's <laughs> a nice one there. I think we'll uh, go ahead and keep him. We're going to keep two or three fish today. <laughs> he got some energy, don't he? I'll put him on a stringer. Yeah, just a little bit of a breeze coming in this afternoon, or well, about 1 one thirty here. Caught them two pretty quick this morning, then, uh, after that, it all oh, kind of died off pretty quick. Hopefully the bite will uh, pick back up. It gets warmer. The water temperatures come up a little bit. It was oh, around 46, 47 when I first came out here. And uh, now it's uh, 49 right now. Now he's going to pull the stringer. <laughs> Cobwebs everywhere. It's one of those times of year where the cobwebs are floating around everywhere in the air and the trees. At least the spiders ain't floating with them.
Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That feels like a nice one. <laughs> Man, he's pulling. That is a chunky one there. <laughs> Come on in, kite, buddy. Ain't a bad one at all. Woo! Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> There's a stick right up there on the water. You can see it or not. As soon as it come over that stick, I can see his mouth come up and just inhale it. <laughs> God, that is a nice one. <laughs> That's probably the biggest one of the day right there. If it ain't, it's close to it. Big old chunky bass. Nice, nice, nice one. So happy with that. <laughs> so far today, Lolly's a. Uh, Bass that we've got have been good sized ones. Whew. He ain't my heart pumping. <laughs> That's what they're all about. So far it's been a good day. I had one uh get off earlier. He uh he felt he did about the same as that right there. I pulled it over a little bit of a, a little bit of a stick right there and he just went away with it but as soon as I Got a good tight pull on him. He jerked it out of his mouth, but man, I'm just glad that one there didn't come off. That was a good one. A little bit feisty, ain't he? Come here, buddy. I'm gonna try to swing him in here. <laughs> oh, I well, think he's as little as I thought he was. He looks smaller than that under the water. There we go. Pretty long. I ain't got much weight on him, but he's got some length. <laughs> Back he goes. Fast too. <laughs> he wasn't sticking around. So far I guess the uh they're liking the golden shiner today. He was only in about two and a half foot of water too. Oh, there we go. There we go. Another one of them last minute ones. <laughs> I was just about to pull it out of the water. Seemed like we had quite a few of bass like that today. This looks like another uh, keeper here. I meant to keep that last one, but I forgot. <laughs> Threw him back so quick, I forgot that we was going to keep him. Come on, buddy. Another long one. Long but thin. Put him on a stringer. I always like to uh, I'll keep smaller bass. You know, about medium small size. This is about the smallest one here I'd want to keep. I don't like to really keep them big ones. But like anything else, you know, the little ones taste, taste better or what have you. I think that's either uh, five or six, I think. 
been a pretty decent day so far. I had quite a few nice sized bass and a few small ones too, but they ain't something to keep. Oh, there we go. There we go. Looks like a nice one there. Oh, yeah, it is. Not a bad one at all. Why if we get him in here? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Give me that lip. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That one is definitely chunky there. Actually a uh, tail sticking out of his throat down there. Probably a shad or something. There we go. Yeah, look at that belly right there. Let me turn around here. Let me get out of the sunlight. Can't see nothing. There we go. Yeah, look at that belly on him. He's been feeding this morning. You can see that uh, tail of something down there sticking out of his throat. Might be a shad or something. That was definitely a good fight. Good sized bass. Back he goes. We're going to let him go back. Slowly. He's a little bit too big to keep. He definitely liked the golden shiner. Bice kind of died down a little bit. Uh, the sun's been kind of going behind the clouds, kind of clouding up a little bit. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. The first part of the day it was real sunny from about 10 o'clock until about uh, 2, I guess. In the last 30, 45 minutes, that's really started clouding up. kind of hoping it would do the opposite. I was kind of hoping them clouds would disappear if they went on. It was definitely a, a warm morning when the sun was out. It made it feel good out here. Oh, there we go. Oh, fast one. <laughs> That'll be our uh, third keeper there. He was definitely humming along. You can hear the line humming going through the water. Switched over to that uh, silver tour gray that I used. I fished there for a while. Wasn't catching anything with that other one. So I, uh, Switched over through the crawfish a little bit too, that chatterbait crawfish. Really seemed like the, uh, the bite had really died off ever since the clouds kind of come out and been hiding that sun. Yeah, at least we got all the fish we need to keep. Almost four o'clock. Ain't got much uh, fishing time left. These short days killing me. <laughs> it just seems like you know once it reaches uh about two o'clock, you know about one thirty two o'clock, and after that man, it just a day just really flies by. 
four o'clock rolls around, you better think about leaving. <laughs> Start working your way back to the ramp anyway. been a good day though you know we haven't caught tons of fish today but uh what we have caught caught today has been real good quality fish a lot of big bass today and the weather's been good too been sunny all day you know here and there with the cloud cover ain't been too bad but uh mostly the wind hasn't blew today that's what really makes it nice that wind ain't blowing it really uh Helps out on making you not feel freezing to death. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna bring this episode to an end. It was a pretty good day out here. You know, we didn't catch as many fish as what I was hoping for today. But uh, what we did catch was nice size fish, you know, almost almost all the bass we caught today were really good size. We, did, we didn't actually didn't get that little one that day, you know, like we do every trip. I don't know how many trips. We'll always get a little one that's way too small to even touch the bait. But uh, this trip here, we actually got some pretty nice bass throughout the whole trip. But uh, it was just a nice day out here. The weather was great. The wind stayed just calm all day like you want it to. And the uh, sun was out for the most part of the day. Um, it kind of went behind the clouds here in the afternoon. It kind of started rolling in a little bit more than what it was earlier this morning. Um, but overall, it was a pretty good bite today. The morning bite was definitely better than the afternoon. Um, this morning, we got quite a few fish, and then this afternoon, it just kind of, you know, maybe one fish an hour. It was a pretty pretty good grind past about 2.30. But uh, overall, it was a good trip. I'm fixing to uh, head up to the house and get these fish cleaned. Hope y'all like the content. Appreciate y'all watching. All right, so now we're going to show how to clean the fish, or how I clean them anyway. But uh, if you don't like blood or guts, go ahead and just skip this part of the video. <laughs> but uh, I like to use the wireless Bass Pro Shops, the XPS one. I had this for about a oh, year and a half now, I guess, and uh, just love it. Love these small blades like this right here. They just really do good going through that fish. But uh, we're going to go ahead and clean these fish here. we got three bass in the bottom of the bucket. This lucky guy here can be number one. I just like to start right there, kind of go towards the head. Get on both sides there, you can see. And then just turn it and go right down and try to get uh, as close as that back fin right there as you can as you're going down. You don't have to worry about trying to get uh, too low on this side because that's his gut pocket and everything right here. You're not going to keep that anyway. So. Don't go all the way down because you don't want to throw that over. And it's kind of have that blade at an angle towards your skin, but don't push down too hard. You'll go through the skin or you don't watch it. There you go. Kind of cut out them bones right here. There we go. Once you cut that out, that's all your bones out of it. And you're left with a nice uh, boneless filet right there. Put that in our little white bucket there. Do the same thing on the other side. Pretty quick doing it like this. Uh, pretty nice fillet there for a small bass like that. There have been quite a few of these fish that I've been keeping lately that uh, have actually had eggs in them. I don't know what the deal is with that. Most of them spawn in the spring. But there might be some 
light fall spawners, I guess. Overall, it was a pretty good day. It wasn't too cold out there. As long as that uh, wind stays calm, you can pretty well be out there in the 30s and 40s. I was out there one day last year, it was right at 32, something like that. It had ice on the water, and uh, but the sun was out and the wind wasn't blowing, so even though it was sure enough freezing out there, I was still, you know, kind of comfortable. And if you get a uh, if you get a really big bass, you know, like I said before, I don't really like keeping sure enough like five pound, four pound bass, what have you. I like little ones like this. But if you do keep the big ones, um, they can fillets. You can cut them up in little pieces, and uh, just tastes better like that. Just kind of helps get more uh, batter and seasoning on them. You do the same thing with a big catfish. A lot of times people will uh, cut them up in cubes or what have you. bigger one here and you can clean uh oh I've cleaned brim this way I clean all my crappie this way but you can actually clean as long as it's a, a decent sized brim you can clean it like this too Be a pretty good size fillet there. last one. Made pretty quick work of them three. There we go. And uh, oh, I like to take, um, we take these into the house, just uh, take some water and wash that off, kind of rub your fingers on the fillet and get that blood out and what have you. But once you get it kind of semi-clean, come back and uh, sprinkle some uh, salt over them quite a bit and uh, put some more water on them, take in there, slush them around, rub them out again, dump it out, and do that about two or three times. And uh, it really, it'll help get that wild taste out of them. You know, bass, um, a lot of people don't like bass because they do have a little bit of a wild taste compared to crappie or brim. But uh, if you do that salt water, it'll really help take that out, make them uh, taste more like crappie, what have you. But that's going to be it. We're going to get everything cleaned up and uh, see y'all next time. Appreciate y'all watching.